All right, <clears throat> now we've got basically our head made for Stewie. So now we need to start giving him a body. So we're going to turn the head layer off here, and we're going to create his body, which is going to be a series of different layers, different vector images. So what we want to start with is we want to start with the upper body here. So we're going to start with, and we're going to name this one body. Okay, so, and Stewie's going to be able to bend his body. So his body is going to be like two pieces. He's going to have his upper body, and then he's going to have a pelvis area, and then his legs. So what we need to do is we can start real easy with just, you know, you can start with a square, you can start with a circle, however you want to do it, or you can freehand add points, however you want to do it. But I like to start with a square and then just translate the points to where I want them. So that one's going to be right about his shoulder, that one's going to be about his shoulder, and we're going to have those right about there. And as you can see, that's the basic shape of Stewie's upper body. So we're going to start adding some points here to kind of give him some shape. And you got to kind of think of where the body would be if the arm wasn't there. And Stewie's not, Stewie doesn't have a neck, so his head's going to sit right on his body. So we're just got to kind of roughly translate those in. And then see he's got his pants here, so we'll have to add the points for that. draw his pants in here and then we're gonna add for that there and then we need to just add his suspenders here and as you can see I'm just kind of roughing them in where they should be and is we can always move them around and change them up a little later. And then we need the top of his pants here. And then we'll bring that one down there like that. Okay, now let's zoom in here. Let's make these look like they should. So what we need to do is we need to create some curves here. Take some curve out and add some curve around to where they should be here. Move them around a little bit. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it however you want. Make that a little more curvy there. Let's fix that. And then we can adjust the curve in that. Move it up a little bit. And there we go. Now we just need to make those into objects. Or, you know, over here under fill, you can click on create shape. And then, you know, just start creating all those into shapes. Okay, now there's the basic outline of Stewie's upper torso. And, like I said, you can tweak it around and play with it however you want. Make it look however you want. Okay, so what we need to do now is color those in to make them, because they're just outlines right now. So let's go into Advanced, go to Style, create a new one for his shirt. Okay, and Stewie's shirt is white. So let's click on this one and let's make Stewie's shirt white. Then we're going to go into Create Shape, and we're going to just pick the areas that are his shirt. And we're going to create the shapes of Stewie's shirt there. Alright, now those are all there. Now we can go back to None here. Oh, put that back on shirt for a minute. And then click out here so it finishes. So then we go to done. Now we go to style and new and Stewie's pants. 
And we're going to make Stewie's pants a bluish color. Just like that. And then we're going to hit none. And, oh, something went wrong there. So let's go back to shirt for a minute. And we're going to reselect those. I'm not real sure what happened there. It uh, kind of screwed his shirt up. <coughs> Okay, now let's go to pants. And we're going to create the first suspender strap and the other suspender strap and now the pants. And you just need to select the the points which Something's a little funky there. Let's just select individual points. Which you can do by holding down the shift key and clicking on all the little points. And you can see it making the line as we go around. There we go. And there's Stewie's pants. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new style for the buttons. Because we're going to make those, or make them oh, a little bit lighter blue, I guess, for right now. Go back to none. Then we want to go to the buttons and select, oops, just select the buttons and create those. Just so you can see that there's a difference between the buttons and his pants. <coughs> and there's basically Stewie's, Stewie's upper body. Now we want to create a new vector image for his pelvis. We want the pelvis under the body. So let's turn the body off for a minute and let's create Stewie's pelvis area here just by adding points in here, like so. And then you can translate these around. Let's take the curve out of that one and out of that one. And let's see here, just kind of bring those down a little bit. And basically, there's Stewie's pelvis area. And we want those to be the made out of the pants, so we're going to create that shape out of the pants. Okay, now here's the thing, let's turn this off for a minute. You can see that, you know, we don't need these lines in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go turn the pillows back on, we're going to hit H for hide edge, and we're going to hide these edges. And now there's Stewie's pelvis, and we turn his body back on and we can go to the body layer and hide these edges. And let's square those up a little bit and there is basically Stewie's pelvis and shirt area. And that's how you create the body and we need the head on top there. Let's hide that. And you know, there's the basics if you render it out, there's the basics of Stewie's body and his head.